welcome to crackchannacup.com. My name is Leomi Anderson and this is my third video diary of my time in New York. Um, last time I filmed on like Monday morning, Monday afternoon. So like now I'm going to tell you from Monday to Wednesday, which is now. Um, yeah, like on Monday I had like a really chilled out day, you know. All I had to do was um, go to my agency, Fusion, and take some digitals. Um, basically when you have, you know, I've got a new agency and stuff and they need to have like um, some raw pictures of me. So it's just like me against the white wall, you know, black skinny jeans, black vest, black heels, hair tied back, whatever. It's just for them, you know, just have a reference of, you know, what I look like. And then sometimes clients ask for like um, just raw digital so they can see the girl, you know, minimal makeup, minimal clothes and all that kind of stuff. So um, yeah, I did that and then it was just nice to see all my books and stuff because obviously I'm just getting to know them again and build up a relation, like get to know them, sorry, and build up a relationship with them because you know, I'm new and you know, we're just getting to know each other basically. So this is like my agency, here's some of the bookers and yeah. And one thing that I love, love, love about the appearance of my agency is um, this wall. It was um, painted by one of the girls of the agency and like, it's amazing. Like I can't stop looking at it. And every time that I do, I find something new, like, you know, like a little, message written or like a new picture or whatever so it was pretty cool so yeah like on monday i just focused on doing my digitals and stuff at my agency and then um after that i had to find a dry cleaners because me being smart bought a top with a stain on it in top shop in the sale and they gave me extra discount but now i'm actually fearing that the stain won't actually come out so yeah whatever after that i went home chilled out a little bit and then i went to see Bay. and you're probably going to get so bored of hearing betty's name because i'm going to be with her every day because she's like my closest friend out here but yeah, um, came home, slept, yeah, and that was basically my Monday. And um, Tuesday, I was just kind of, you know, getting to know my area a little bit more, and um, I think I had like a cast in to go to. So, you know, I was just walking around and exploring New York a little bit more. And obviously you guys have told me that you want to see a little bit more, more of New York, so I was just doing some like rough like hand footage so you can see what I could see. So like, you know, like on the subways and stuff, like. I don't think you understand how lucky we are in London to have um, the underground that we do because no matter how many little tiny mice that you see running around, it's nothing in comparison to the New York subway. Like it's that's something a next level basically. Like it's got it's quite dirty and grimy, but you know what? It gets you from point A to B, and it's a lot cheaper than TfL. So that's why I can't even complain. But one thing that I do love about taking the subway is the fact that. Every journey, it's like being a, in the X Factor audience or something because, like, there's performers everywhere. You have like these like Native Americans playing on their flutes and stuff, selling their CDs. Like break dancers over there, like doing their thing. They don't even ask for money; they just want to perform. Like. You have people coming on the subway, like rapping and stuff, playing guitar, singing, like basically everyone in New York is just out there trying to do their own thing, you know, and like if they're not working or they, you know, they don't have a lot of money, then they'll come on the subway and they'll perform. They don't care, like, and people, so many people ignore them, but they don't seem to care. So I have a lot of respect for people who are just doing their thing, performing on the subway. And it makes my journey more enjoyable, you know, especially I like the singing one, the singing performance and stuff. So it's quite cool. So guys, uh, basically, I want to become a DJ now. That's going to be my thing, my new thing. And I know you think it's a joke, but at first I thought it was a joke as well. But then I thought, no, I can actually do this. And I want to DJ like fashion events and stuff. So I thought, hey, I like music. I know what kind of sounds people want to hear. So why not? You know, let me just be a DJ. Let me do my thing. So um, Betty's boyfriend is giving me DJ lessons. Well, I'm forcing him to three times a week. Figure out what you want to name it. The, the, the DJ, <laughs> So, you know, here's me. I'm like messing around with equipment, getting used to like, you know, this A side, B side, press this, makes it CD, spinning the thing, making sound effects and whatnot. Oh, and I've actually mixed two songs successfully. And I know you're thinking two songs, but it was hard, trust me, but like, I'm just messing around, you know, and hopefully by the end of the five weeks, I would have gotten the hang of how to use my DJ machine. For those wondering what my DJ name is, you know, I revealed it on Instagram, but 
let me tell you guys this is going to be my sound it's going to go D -d -d dj leomi uh, room that's my sound like that's my thing so that's going to be my little ad lib so you know i'll be mixing into songs and stuff and it'll be like D -d -d dj leomi room because i like cars and i'm a dj and my name is leomi so yeah i'm just getting the hang of you know dj and whatnot but that's gonna be my new thing so you're gonna go gonna see my dj lessons and stuff and see me progress over the next couple of weeks to become a top model dj i'm enjoying being here you know and it's like it's different it's so much different to london like i thought that london over everything blah blah and it still is but i'm starting to understand a bit more why people like new york it's pretty cool but not as cool as London, so, you know, still staying true to my roots. Yeah, that's kind of it for today's vlog. Um, and I will be getting back to you in a couple of days. Thanks for watching. Bye.